Cholesterol myths shattered by Dr. Machino. Let's set the record straight on cholesterol. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, there are many myths about what raises cholesterol. Some doctors and people will tell you eating eggs doesn't raise cholesterol. I will tell you they are incorrect about that. Egg loading studies in human subjects show that they do rate, that egg yolks will raise cholesterol, but from one person to the next, it raises cholesterol to varying degrees. Some person will have a more rapid rise in cholesterol, somebody else will have a very modest rise, and some people will have almost no rise, a very subtle rise in their cholesterol. It's really based on how well your body can clear cholesterol, which is somewhat genetic. But there's 250 milligrams of cholesterol in an egg yolk. When you eat a lot of egg yolks, I can tell you one thing, your cholesterol is not going down. So people like Dean Ornish, who really has taught us so much about how to reverse cardiovascular disease using diet and lifestyle. He's the leading expert in the world. He will tell you, you shouldn't ingest more than 100 to 150 milligrams of cholesterol a day from, any, from all your sources. So in three egg yolks, there's 750 milligrams. I, I will tell you, I'm not having it. I will eat the egg white, but I'm not having the yolk. And the same is true for many organ meats, like liver and kidneys, full of pure made, of pre-made cholesterol. So you, you want to try to not put cholesterol in your body in the first place. So that's myth number one. The fact is eating cholesterol will raise your cholesterol. It'll vary from person to person. I will tell you one thing, it's not going to bring your cholesterol down. And most people have cholesterol that's already too high. Myth number two, bad genes cause most of the high cholesterol problems. Wrong again. 80 to 90 percent of high cholesterol is known to be caused by faulty dietary and lifestyle practices. The Framingham Heart Study has made that very clear. So that means that a lot of people who are taking drugs to lower their cholesterol could actually do it by just following the right diet and lifestyle program. So we'll talk about how to find that diet and lifestyle program. You need to know what you're doing. And there are some people who do need those drugs, but it's a small percentage of people relative to the number of people who have been prescribed those medications. Myth number three, high cholesterol doesn't even cause heart attacks. Wrong again. We know that certain people are born, about 5% of the population are born with what's called an LDL receptor defect. That means they don't make the receptors to clear cholesterol from the bloodstream. So they have super high levels of cholesterol. That's the only risk factor they have for heart disease. Their blood pressure is normal, they're young people, they don't smoke, they're not overweight, they're not, they, you know, they, they can exercise their brains out. They still start dying of heart attacks in their 20s. It's almost inevitable, but, uh, inevitable by the time they're 55 or 60. These people need cholesterol-lowering drugs. Most of the plaque in your artery is cholesterol. So to think that high cholesterol is not a risk factor for cardiovascular disease is insanity. And there are doctors out there saying, the cholesterol myth, cholesterol doesn't even cause uh, vascular disease, strokes and heart attacks. It's ridiculous. The other thing is this, that most of the cholesterol, or most of the plaque in your artery, I said, is cholesterol. And it's mostly the cholesterol that your body makes in response to you eating the wrong foods. It's eating the wrong foods that turns the cholesterol production on in your body. This is where the real problem lies. So I'd like you to click on the link below to read my review article on how to keep your cholesterol in the ideal range without depriving yourself of healthy and enjoyable foods. You can still enjoy your life and have a very safe cholesterol number. Remember that hot cardiovascular disease kills 40 to 50 percent of us over our lifetime. It's the leading killer. And high cholesterol is a cardinal risk factor. It's not the only risk factor, but it's a cardinal risk factor that you cannot ignore. So read the article I have, just click on the link below, so you'll know exactly what to do in this area in terms of lifestyle management. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other resources and downloads and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.